Way to go, Steve. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days of Nine Alpha 21. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Apocalypse Ranger series. And in this episode, we are going to um, do a couple things around the base here. Go visit the trader, do a... Um, what do I need to repair that? Oh, cobblestone. Uh, do an infested quest, and then we have to figure out what we're going to do for Horde Night 14. We're not going to do it uh, in this place because we've got it all fixed up. <coughs> um, Right before morning, I had a, a wandering horde come in, and so we killed all of them. And it, the jury's out as to whether or not I want to... um. Uh, having these uh, arrow slits on here because it doesn't let me melee them. So I might have to come up with a different solution for that. Also, I started a mine down here and uh, mined up some iron. We got uh, 4,640 iron and some other resources. So we got that going, uh, you know, just get, to give me something to do overnight. And let's see, let's come back up here, see if there's another water ready. Not quite yet. Uh, oh yeah, some cooking stuff I want to show you. Um, we have the ability now to make hobo stew. So let's um, track that. And we're going to need rotten flesh. We're going to need carrots and potatoes. Or sorry, not carrots and potatoes. Corn and potatoes. And animal fat and water. And I've got some bacon and eggs and some more red tea that I had cooking up in there. So let's go ahead and make five of those. Very nice. Okay, that's going to be another 15 minutes of burn time. 15.30. So that should be good enough there. Uh, we're not going to wait for that for today, but when we get back to the base later, we'll have some really good food waiting for us. Well, hobo stew being good food is kind of... Um, Kind of subjective, <laughs> I suppose, but um, it is good, definitely good uh, in the game itself. Not something you want to eat in real life. I don't, I don't think you can cook rotten meat enough to remove all of the harmful bacteria. Um, I'm also not going to melt all this down just because, um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna move on, and uh, I don't want to put a whole mess of smelted iron in the in the forge and then. You know, not be able to take it with us for the next place kind of idea. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just going to sit on it for now, I guess. All right. So let's put that in there. We'll put these extra stones in here after we repair this and this. We also have a point to spend. So let's see here. If we go back to agility, um, if we put the ski goggles on, we now have an effective seven points in agility. And we're going to go ahead and put another point into Whirlwind, which will make our attacks 17% faster. Now, it is my intention to get agility. I mean, eventually, we're going to max it out all of the way. Uh, but we're going to keep pumping it until we hit 9, uh, an effective 9, with our goggles so that we can get all of the rest of the stuff, too. And then eventually, you know, I'll probably get it all the way to 10 so we don't have to mess with wearing the goggles um, all of the time. But for now, um, it'll work for us. Okay. So we're actually doing very good on food and drink. We don't really need to wait for that. Let's go ahead and set out here. I think we're uh, pretty much ready to go. Um, yeah, we should be. Okay. Yeah, so let's uh, set out, and we're going to uh, go do this infested quest for Rekt, and then we're going to go check his inventory. Because he resets today, and then go from there. And, and then, well, no, then after that, we're going to look for uh, our what, a Horde 14 solution. Okay, so we are going to do uh, an infested mausoleum. Let's um, loot a couple of quick things here first before we do that. I uh, already know that, so we'll sell it. And run over and grab this mailbox too, because why not? 
Um, bats and clubs degrade 20% slower. Sell price of over 100. I just don't care about clubs in this playthrough. I don't usually use clubs in any playthrough. In fact, I used to use them all of the time in older versions of this game. But, uh, I just prefer, you know, um, a lot of the other stuff now. Other types of weapons. Let's dispatch this guy. This is how fast we can go now with our uh, whirlwind. Let's hit this mailbox. And we woke somebody up in there. Oh, I guess we already looted that at one point. Yeah, I think we maybe did this place. Well, I don't know if we did it, but we certainly looted some of the stuff in front of it. That door's open, so maybe we did that place at some point. I don't know. Um, we might as well get the resources from this stuff now that we can make hobo stew. Um, and at some point, we're probably going to want to set up a farm somewhere. I'm, I'm not... Oh, crap. I forgot to take that stuff out of there. I'm not... Um, it's not likely, I guess I should say, that we're going to... That this area that we're currently in is going to be like our long-term area. I mean, there's so much more map for us to uncover. Okay, let's get this started. So that's why I'm kind of hesitant to, you know, set a, a an actual farm down in this area. All right, so how do we do this? gate open oh we just walked right in that's how we do it oh shit look at all the red dots already all right i'll worry about gathering those resources later we're just gonna have a lot of zombos this is actually gonna be sort of dangerous because it's all open, but the good news is we have this pretty stout iron gate that we can run through and as a fallback location. Is that door open? It's not. Okay, we're going to have to shoot it open. All right, big bomber. Off with her head. Hmm. Where are those other ones at? Are they on the outside of the mausoleum? Well, they're definitely not in here. They must be on the back side of it. So let's go around this way. Ooh, yeah, there's a copper. A cop and a biker. That's a bad combination. All right, well, let's see if we can get a lucky shot here. Feral biker. Very dangerous. Okay, shit. Ooh, man, that was close. Okay, let's take one of these. Point blank. <laughs> it doesn't even phase him. Oh man. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna get something. We're actually damaging this. The feral biker is just bad juju, man. Oh, he, he's a barrel cop. Yeah, he's he's just as bad. Will you guys just die, please? Good lord. Oh, I thought we... I thought we had him, but we didn't. Alright, what does this require for repairing? 
7,000 hit points, and look how much they took that down. Goodness gracious. Whew, that was close. We just about bought the farm on that, you guys. Um, How long did these last for? Six minutes. I think we better... Uh, we're going to pop those before we start the next major engagement here. Feral cop and feral biker. Yeah, that is bad, bad news. Okay, now there was another Zeke around this way that was further down. If we can get a sneaky sneak off on business, or not business guy, construction guy, that would be good. He's uh, most likely also feral. Yep. I don't, I don't want them beating on this fence any more than necessary because it's, or this gate rather, because it's so damaged already. Okay, so we've got a, a hazmat guy down there. Good for a headshot. Oh, he's normal. Okay. He's normal. All right. This would be a good place to come and get a bunch of chrysanthemum and goldenrod, too. So we have two red dots here. They're probably going to be in this open grave. Um, I don't have any pipe bombs or molotovs. I think we used them all up on the horde night. He's a feral Ronnie McDonnie. Trying to conserve ammo and not make a ton of noise either. Oh, we got a greenie. Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't think we have a rad remover on any of our weapons. I think that's the first greenie we've come across. We gotta keep damaging her so she doesn't start to heal again. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Finally. 3,600 XP, though, for that kill. Whew. Okay, where's this at now? It's 2,500 hit points still, so... We just have to manage it, and then we'll be okay. Let's pop another... Um, well, actually... Get 18 health from that. Yeah, let's... Let's do a bacon and eggs. And we'll do a red tea to make the bacon and eggs last a little longer. Okay, no more red dots over this way. Uh, how did I miss that? I don't even know. I hope this guy's not feral. There's no way we can get to his head, so let's just shoot him in the nuts. Oh, shit. Big Mama, you are way too quiet. Now, this is 
just let him blow up. Maybe he'll kill Big Mama. I think you got her. <laughs> this gate. <laughs> it's down to 383 hit points. Yeah, we're going to have to come up with a plan B. Oh, man. I think, uh, though, we're down to the, the last batch because we got the little yellow thing there. Yeah, I don't know how in the world I missed that. I said, there's no more red dots over there, and then there's the cop right there. None of those are lootable. Yeah, we'll take that. We're going to um, take a bandage, too. Take all that stuff. Too bad that door wasn't usable. Okay, now for the fun part. Uh, is this door usable? Okay, so we can actually retreat into here. The only downside to that is we're blocking ourselves in, but... We'd have 7,000 hit points of bars in between us and the nasties. Okay, I can't tell if he is feral or not. I th yeah, he is feral. All right, let's see if we can just deal with him. Looks like we might have woken up the rest of them, too. We gotta kill that biker. He is the one. He's the worst of them, for sure. Okay, he's down. Uh, Ronnie McDonnie's the next one to kill, because he is feral. And then these guys, I think, are normals. And we did it. Okay, fantastic. All right, uh, my wife just called me to run outside and help her and my dad uh, move some stuff in that we had out by the curb for for people to take for free after our weekend yard sale um, because a big storm's coming in. So if you guys hear thunderclaps or whatever in the background, it's a, a real life storm, not a seven days to die storm. Okay. Uh, there's the loot, and there's a bag up there. Cat chow. Uh, yeah, I guess we can eat that. Anything else up here while we're up here? Man, I, I hope that uh, we don't get nasty hail. Uh, we get pretty bad hail in Colorado. Oh, look at that. Nice. Nice little pile of ammo there for us. Um, and sometimes it can be like, you know, baseball size. And that uh, does lots of damage to the roof of the house and to the car and stuff. Oh, I was going to look at making a new, uh, a, a green level bow as well. All right, how much did that uh, increase our damage? I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so right now it's 54.3. 59, okay. Nice little little increase. Nothing super good, but every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. Let's see what's in a passing gas. Two harvesting tools. A little bit of gasoline and eh, okay. Not terrible, but nothing super amazing either. We already have a shovel thingamadoodle on here, so let's put let's put it on here just to make our axe a little bit stronger. Actually, can we put it on our pick? Yeah, we can. Okay. All right, let's go do our turn in and see what 
uh, Rekt has for his new inventory. Uh, how about I empty your pockets? Great, here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Um, I think I'm going to take the Molotovs, because that'll be useful on Horde Knight. Oh, and we are finished, ladies and gentlemen, with Tier 2. And look at that, a blue nail gun. Who's going to take 100 cobblestone over a blue nail gun? <laughs> That's just very funny. 5,000 dukes are useful, too. Uh, actually... All right, hold on. Before we... Well, I guess I'm going to have to... Oh, is it going to let us it. look at his inventory first? Let's see what he has for sale before we... Because that's 5,000 dukes. He's got a an orange tactical assault rifle. Which we could probably actually afford. And... It's got to be, I would think it's better than the blue one, or the blue pipe. Let's look. Here, go to, uh, go here. Oh, yeah, a lot better. Okay, oh, here's what we're going to do. Then. We're going to take the nail gun. Reward, that is sucker. a nice reward. Very nice reward. Okay, um, and then let's go back to his inventory. And we're going to purchase the Orange Tactical Assault Rifle. It'll only give us one mod, but it's still far superior to this guy. Be careful out there. You wouldn't want to get hurt. All right. That worked out pretty good for us, guys. It worked out really good for us. Okay, a couple things to sell to him. Um, we're going to sell this and this. Oh, shoot. I forgot to put my lucky goggles on. I always, always forget to do that. Man... Um, we're going to sell the steel spear parts because we're not doing spears in this playthrough. We're not doing batons in this playthrough. You want some sand? Nope. You want some rocks? Nope. We'll sell that too. Okay, I think that's all we're going to sell to him. Don't let the door hit you on your way out. Excellent. Okay, so, um, what we're going to do now is I'm going to go back to the base. Here, I want to look at one other thing real quick. I want to see if he has any extra bow parts in case we need them to make the green bow. He does. Well, he's got one. Okay, so I got all my stuff put away, and... It seems like this is not consuming fuel or something. That's weird. I don't know. It, when I came back, it's, it's like all the wood I put in there earlier was still in there. Anyway, okay, so uh, we now have five hobo stews, which is amazing. Let's put this back in here. We'll top off our stack of bacon and eggs. I'm going to save this probably for like a horde night. Because it also gives us a lot of health, too, like 32, which is more than a single bandage does, a regular first aid bandage. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to swap out these weapons. And I think um, we're going to make this. We're not going to worry about. We get three mod slots on an orange tactical? Really? Wait, what? Is that new? We're only supposed to have one. All right. I'm not complaining. I am certainly not complaining. That's... I didn't know that. That must be new for Alpha 21. Um, okay, so right now it does 56.1 damage. If we put the silencer and the full auto on, it does 58. We lose about two points of damage with that, but... The silencing effect in certain situations is going to be worth having, I think. Is there anything else we can put? Any other mods we can put on there? Helmet light. 
Um, what do we have on here? We have a silencer. Yeah, so it looks like that's all we can put on there. So we can still... We can still put another mod on here, too. Nice. All right, you guys, look at this. We got ourselves an AR. We're starting to feel more like a soldier all the time. Um, now, next thing we want to look at is upgrading our bow. So I have nine bow parts and the, the means to scrap a couple bows to get more if we need to. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go bow, wooden bow, track. So we only need four. Oh, wow, that's not very many at all. Okay, we got the wood. We need 12 leather, 8 glue, and 12 um, duct tape. That's a lot of duct tape. And then 12 leather. Okay, so... Uh, let's just grab all of the glue for the moment. And we need to make another five duct tape. And that should still give us enough to enough glue left over also for the, the bow itself. Alright, let's craft this thing. While that's crafting, we'll take the mods off of this. And now we, we have a nice uh, backup bow if we need it. And we still have this one too, which we should repair and sell at some point. I'd kind of like to hang on to it until we can put a mod on it so we can get, you know, a little more value for that. Okay. So let's modify this. Currently it does 52.6 damage. Now it does 57. And we'll put the green die on it too. Very cool. All right, so we have gotten ourselves some upgraded weapons, ladies and gentlemen. It's a beautiful thing. Yes, indeed it is. You need to go in here. Oh, airdrop time. Ah, oh, shit. Once again, I can't see it. Who planted all these trees here? I wonder who that who did that. Man, Zulu Tango Foxtrot is going to be really irritated with us if we lose two airdrops. You know the funny thing is though, is I think the other one may also be this direction, and we oh there is that it. I th uh, no, I can't tell. Um, so we might end up finding two of them at the same time. The good news is, at least based upon the sound of the plane, we know it's going to be to the west northwest ish of the base. But I, I am not seeing it in the sky. One shot, one kill. All right, let's uh let's just look for this because I was actually intending to come this way anyway to look for the other one. Uh, so since we're already out here, let's do it, and maybe we'll do a little bit of um hunting too. But we do need to we need to come up with a horde based solution. That is that's the main goal for the second part of this episode. If we have time, even I don't know, maybe we don't. Ugh, time goes by so fast playing this game because, you know, we're having fun, right? This is some really crappy territory for the drop to go into because we can't, you know, we can't see beyond the crest of the next hill. And then, you know, having all this fog isn't helping either. Seriously, come here. Come here, Marlene. I'm wasting arrows on you. See, I was ready for you that time. He tried to do a juke on me. 
and I juked him back. All right. Well, here, let's just, um, I'm going to spend a little more time trying to find one or both of those drops before we, um, go back to town and look for a horde base. Wait, do, uh, yeah, we have our agility glasses on. Okay, so that's level two flirty of blows. Doesn't seem that much faster, but I guess it's 17% faster, so. Yeah, it's probably 17% faster. I mean, it is, but it's just the way that it seems, you know. Jeez, man, these drops could be anywhere in this rugged country. We may not be able to really have any hope of finding them unless yeah, until we get the gyrocopter, which is going to be a long time from now. That's not going to happen tomorrow. Okay, well, at least the fog's clearing up, so there's that. If we get close enough to those things, we'll see the orange smoke. <laughs> Way to go, Steve. Way to launch yourself off the side of a cliff. That's what I like to see. Whoa. Oh, he got us there. Yeah, I, man, I am not seeing an airdrop, you guys. Let's look at the map. Where are we at exactly? I mean, it's possible that it could be up in this area too, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of circle down around through here and then head back into town if we don't find it by then. Hey, we got a honey. Got another honey. I'm just gonna look over the crest of this hill first before we start circling back around. A little water. There's a Log cabin POI of some sort over that way. And I'm not seeing any orange smoke, unfortunately. Okay, let's look at the map again. I'm going to go towards that red flag. All right, I'm fairly confident that that airdrop isn't any further to the south based upon... Um, you know, what I was hearing from the plane. And since we're at this wilderness POI, really? What the hell? <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. All right, you get, you get to be the first, uh, person or zombie to test out our AR. Oh, love the fire rate on this thing compared to that stupid pipe rifle. Um, while we're near, near this POI, let's just loot it really quick. Um, we're not going to screw around too long doing this, but... It's just a level one, so it shouldn't be too bad. We're just going to take that. Take the corn, take that. Nah, I don't care about the bones so much. This has a basement. 
Oh, you know what? This is the POI that um, that I did my first episode in in experimental. Hey. <laughs> Car beat out of us. We found a couple of honeys, so that'll take care of that infection we just got. Let's pull these down to here. Gonna eat some bacon and eggs to also help with healing. Alright. And uh we got Larry the lumberjack here. Gonna bleed going on him. Let's just open that so we can get to him better. Yeah, we'll take both of those things, actually. Let's check the fat loots. Nice. Uh, compact stacks. Uh, yeah, that's very good stuff. We'll take it. I uh, don't care about either one of those. Let's take this apart. Uh, wrench. We didn't get any uh, iron ingots from that. Okay, I have nine lockpicks. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, shoot. I did it again. I forgot to put the uh, luckies on. What do we get? Okay. Handgun magazine. We can now make pistol quality one. Any chance this pistol that we just, or knife we just looted is better than the one we have? It is not. Okay, so we'll just sell it then. Might as well grab this cement. We have the room for it. Yeah, we got one of our lock picks back. Uh, there's more things we could loot in here, but let's just go. Um... Well, actually, I guess we might as well check up here, too, since we're here, right? Oh, I look pistol. Nice. Those aren't... Those are not worth fixing up and selling, but they're good for... Oh, shit. Excuse me. Oh, shit. I thought we killed you, man. Apparently not. Nope. You scared me, Edgar. Uh, we're going to take this now for health. More than for food. There we go. Very nice. Okay, so we are currently at 58.8. 64.1. Very worth it coming in here and looting this place. Even if we didn't find the airdrop. And look at that. Uh, successive leg shots. Increased chance to cripple by 10%. We'll take it. I'm glad I decided to come up here. I wasn't going to, but... That was worth the price of admission for sure. All right, you guys. Well, we are, we're definitely out of time in this episode. So we'll start the next episode by, uh, we're going to go back into town and we're going to see uh, what our options are for uh, Horde Night 14. What I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to actually go 
up to about here on foot and see if I can, you know, find those airdrops. And if I do, then I will, at the very least, I'll at least record what's in them. Oh, I'll record what's in them and um, we'll go from there. All right. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. He did. Thank mm -hmm. you.